To the west of Reading and beyond Talhurst stands a structure whose construction is shrouded in mystery, an ominous pillar of brick which is rumored to be the location of death and satanic ritual. But it wasn't. It was actually built for an elaborate makeout spot. Wilder's Folly was built in 1769 by the Reverend Henry Wilder, who lived in Selham House while he was courting Joan Thoites, who resided in Selham Stead House. Selham House is visible from the Folly as a large white building, while Selham Stead House is somewhere over there. You could see where on the outside the original staircase up to the original entrance was. With so much farmland between the two, it was only natural to build a halfway spot, enabling the new couple to go and play tonsil tennis. In the late 19th century, all but one of the windows were bricked up, and the tower was transformed into a dovecote. Where only pigeons are allowed to go and make out. However, you can still come and wander through the featured open plan ground floor arcade. Although I don't know why you would want to, because there is no pinball. Thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or a question down below. Remember to click the subscribe button and to press the appropriate thumb.